Hey YouTube, Tech Intimidation here. We're gonna talk about signing into multiple Gmail accounts from a single login. There's several different options, including Gmail delegation, and we're gonna talk about the considerations for each of these options. First option, you have a Gmail account and you've created a second Gmail account that you own and control. If you just want to be able to jump from one account to the other without having to log in and log out and all of this nonsense, up on the top right of your Gmail window, if you click, you can click Add Account right here. What it will have you do is it'll open a new tab, it'll have you log in to your other account. I've already done it, and you can see that right now both my primary account and my secondary account both listed there because they're already connected. Once you sign in here, the option that will be presented is that second account that you own will be listed right here. So you don't have to sign out of the first one to get to the second one. You just click this tab and what happens is your secondary account that you own pops up in a new tab in your browser. So now you can get to everything. You can get to the settings, including the accounts tab, um, which you are not able to do in our second option. Our second option for logging into mul multiple accounts is Gmail delegation. So if you have a friend or a coworker that has a Gmail account and you need access to that account, but you do not own it, the way to go is delegation. So I'm currently signed in to my secondary account. Let's pretend that Tech Intimidation 2 is your friend or coworker that has a Gmail account that you need access to, but they don't want to tell you what their password is. So what can happen is they go into, let's go all the way out just so we can see everything you need to do. They would log in, they would go to settings in this secondary account, in your friend's account, and then to accounts, and then grant access to your account. Click add another account, and type in the email address that you want to grant access to. So I want to grant access to my primary account, which is techintimidation at gmail.com. Click next. And what it's going to do is it's going to send an email. And all you have to do is click on a link. And then that other account will have access to this account. Send email. So then, now for the next seven days, this notice will pop up just reminding you that you've granted access to your account to someone else. That's just letting you know that, <clears throat> reminding you that you've done that. So the other thing about delegation is it takes a few minutes for it to actually go through and for it to work. But if I go back to my account, Tech Intim Intimidation, I have an email here that says Tech Intimidation 2 has granted you access to read, delete, and send mail on their behalf. Basically, you're able to access and read all of their Gmail. To accept, just click here. I'm clicking it, and it tells me here that it takes 30 minutes for it to complete. It usually doesn't take that long, usually about 10 minutes. Uh, let's see how long it actually takes for us to go through, and I'll check back when it does. All right, it's been a few minutes and I'm signed into my primary account, my account, Tech Intimidation. And if I click here in the top right, now I can see Tech Intimidation 2, which would be your friend or coworker's account, listed here and it says delegated after it. Now, remember in our first example, I had full access to this other account. I was able to even go into settings look at the accounts tab and change the password if I if I wanted to. With delegation that's not possible. So you would not be able to change your friend or coworker's password. All they're granting you access to is to read and deal with your email. So let's click it and see what it looks like. 
So if I click that and I jump over to my friend or coworker's email, I can see their email, I can write emails, I can um, search their past history, um, I would be able to look at all their folders or labels. Um, and if I go into settings here, the accounts tab is not even listed. So I can't even attempt to change their password or look at any of their other Google accounts information. So that, that is the big difference between connecting two accounts, one that you own, and then uh, just delegating access to one that you do not own. Uh, the third way is using Google's um, Google Chrome, and I think I'm actually going to do that in a separate video because Chrome is a whole other animal, but if you're interested, I'll put a link uh, to that video right here, and that's going to be it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below or subscribe for more information about how to make tech work for you from Tech Intimidation. Thanks.